What's going on guys? Welcome to another tutorial in Adobe Premiere Pro CC. In this video, I'll show you guys how to export your video and also how you could publish for YouTube. So we're gonna open up a project in Premiere Pro and this is just my outro. And over here, you see this in and out point. This is how I actually set a portion of the video that I wanna render. So you don't have to render the whole thing. And let me just get rid of this to show you guys how I do that. So clear out the out point and then clear out the in point. We're gonna scrub on the timeline, type in I, and then scrub over here and select O. Then we can adjust this. And that's how I select the area for rendering. And another piece of advice is just to select anywhere on the timeline here before you render. For some reason, Premiere Pro doesn't always render when you just want to go to file and export. So you have to select somewhere on here so it knows that you want to render something. So you go file, then select export, and we select media. Next, we have this tab over here, it's called source, and this allows you to crop the video if you want. I have no reason to do that. And then over here, we can scrub on the timeline. We can also adjust the rendering area. So you can do that over here. Right over here, we have source range, and I have sequence in and out selected because before I set the in and out points for the sequence. Now, if you wanna do the entire sequence, you can do that. You can do the work area, and also you can select the custom work area. Then over here, we have the format. I have QuickTime selected because it works best for me. You can select anything that you want, including H.264, which I've used before, also MPEG-4. You know, it really depends on the project that you're working on. But if you notice the settings here, and this is how I export for YouTube, I have it 1280 by 720, because for myself, I don't really need to use 1080. Now, for the frame rate, I have it at 60 frames per second because I'm recording in 60 frames per second. And when you wanna select a location for your file all you have to do is select over here you can change the name and you can also change where you're going to save it to and it shows you the file format it's going to be and with quicktime it's a dot move file if you scroll down here you can actually still customize these you can lower the quality you can adjust that you can even adjust the resolution you can change the frame rate the field order depending on what kind of video you're working on the aspect ratio you know, these are all things that you'll learn about when you're working with your project. My best advice, again, is just to use the same settings that you're importing the video. If you wanna be advanced and start changing the file format or even the resolution or the frame rate and all this other kind of stuff, you can do things like that. You just have to pay attention to the way the video looks because say you go from 1280 by 720 to 1080p, it's gonna look a little bit weird because you're increasing the size of the video. But say you go 1080 to a 1280 by 720, that can work and I have done that before. You just have to make sure the video looks right. I keep saying that, but it is the truth. So then you scroll down over here and there's some more settings that you can change. And one thing you might notice is that there is an audio option. And this is the way I record it. You can change these options also. If you lower the quality of the audio, it's gonna save you file space and all that kind of stuff. But if you don't really care about how big the file is and you want the best quality of audio that you can have for the video that you recorded, so say that you also have the setting for the audio, then you're just gonna have the same option selected that you recorded in. So it really depends on how you record the audio. So that's something else that you can look up for the camera that you're using. And then it says publish. Now Premiere Pro actually allows you to publish to YouTube if you wanted to. I don't think I would just you know publish it to YouTube from here. Not like this. I would render it locally and then I would upload it to YouTube and that's what I do. So that's pretty much it for rendering. Once you're ready to render it, you can add to a queue and it'll open up the Adobe Media Encoder. But if you're just going to publish to YouTube, like myself, all I do is select export, it'll start rendering it, and when it's finished rendering, you have a published video on Premiere Pro. So that's all I wanted to show you guys in this tutorial. I hope you found it useful. Of course, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and I'll see you guys later. Peace out.